This is Paul Gordon of iState.tv, and this is your ILO's Daily Report for Monday, November 13th, 2017. On this ILO's, we report on the tragic story of meme robbing, but this story has a sweet ending. Meme storage device and donut shop robbers show kinder, gently, gentler side, or meet the donut Robin Hoods of Houston, Texas. Donut robbers offer sweets to robbery victims. Three masked men walk into a donut shop with one intention to rob every and anyone of everything they have. But along the way, one of our masked men decides to offer up a consolation prize, if you will, to the people, the donut shop robbing bunch just robbed and be sure you check out the uh, link to the article on iState.tv which is posted right in the upper right corner there if you're watching on YouTube or in the post description above if you're watching on Facebook this is the article that this video was based off of and it also has the video surveillance of the great donut heist of 2017 in it as well So here's the story of three masked men who were thinking of a robbery one night. They thought hard about the target, and then they said a donut shop sounded just right. Yes, yes, I wrote the two opening lines of this presentation to the theme song of the Brady Bunch, and I sure hope that you got that. Uh, I'm assuming you did, and you sang along with my glorious re-rendition of a television classic. So in this Isles of the Day, we have three masked men, but not no masked gals. Well, not no masked gals, but no masked gals. Why don't we just say, but no, uh, double negative. That's right. You don't want a double negative. But no masked gals. And definitely No mom and dad Brady, because, yeah, they're actually both dead now, kids. Uh, (laughs) I don't want to harsh your mellow there. Still, we have a wholesome story to tell in much the same way as a Brady Bunch episode. And this story comes out of uh, Houston, which is apparently in Texas, which my Houston friends remind me is now home to the World Series Houston Astros. And yes, I'm dating this video. It's 2017, November 13th. I already said that, but yes. So, so yeah, I I threw in a sports ball reference into this ILOL's fight me, but not really. Houston police are on the lookout for three masked men who, as the opening lines of the ILOL suggests, were on the lookout for a robbery target and decided to choose a donut shop. In an effort to find the donut shop robbers, the Houston police decided to share the surveillance footage of the crime taking place. And this this video shows three masked men going into the shop with one of the masked men letting the world see that, yes, indeed, he does have a gun. The gun-wielding masked man targets the cash register and immediately relieves it of its monetary burden. Meanwhile, one of his fellow masked men, donut shop robber pals, decides, hey, why stop him money? So he takes the cell phones from two donut shop customers. This is when it gets kind of, kind of, uh, because, yeah, that's freaking rude. And I, and I, and I hope that he at least emailed their memes back to them. Meme theft is no joke, kids. Once the phone thief successfully acquired the phones, he then appears to talk to the customers. And I'm really hoping he's telling them that their memes will be emailed to them because otherwise, yeah, I could get really upset about this because, folks, memes are life. Don't you forget it. So while Mr. Meme Robber and, and yeah, and that's what he is to me. Don't judge. Do not judge. Checks out the uh, donut-tastic display before him. The other two masked men donut shop robbers proceed to take stuff from the employees. 
But at least these guys were not robbing meme stash storage devices, which is all a freaking cell phone is anyway. Let's be honest. And if it's more than that for you, then what's your problem? Oh, here is the time when we enter into the ILOs part of the story. Picture, if you will, the bumbling, stumbling soundtrack of a scene from the Brady Bunch. Maybe one where Cindy is about to fall down a flight of stairs. And, you know, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if that ever actually happened on the show, but so long as no actual Cindy was harmed in the making of the show, that would have been funny. And when I say funny, I mean to a low brainy, a, a low browian such as myself. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with that music in the back of your mind, something like that, take in the image of Mr. Meme Robber offering to the customers various and sundry sweets from the donut shop counter. See? It's a meme robber with a heart of gold, a freaking heart of gold. Now, this is where you get a close up. Of Mr. Meme Robber and that old oh, shuck smile comes over his mask face with his shoulders gesticulating in that all shucks way. Then the laugh track smacks you hard in the face and the credits come up. Better yet, a to be continued sign comes up. Then you see scenes from the next episode of the Brady Bunch, which is now renamed the Donut Robin Hood Bunch. And the narration says, Next week, on a very special Donut Robin Hood Bunch episode, the Bunch learned the lesson that robbing people of their memes of production is not cool. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moral of the story? Never, ever look a gift donut in the mouth, even if it just stole your meme stashing device. My name is Paul Gordon, and this has been your iLulz Daily Report from iState.tv. Be sure you like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iStateTV and select See First in your news feed under the follow tab. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure you subscribe to us at youtube.com slash iState. Hit that big red subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell right next to it to get daily notifications when we post new videos.